This video is brought to you by Sporlin, American made, American strong. What's up everyone and welcome to another 3 Minute Thursday. Really starting to heat up out there. I'm sure all you guys are crazy busy like I've been. Didn't do too much exciting this week. I did clean some coils, do some PMs on some air cooled chillers, some other light service calls, and I did do a VRF startup. A big congratulations to Chris C. He is the winner of last week's pop giveaway for the Chillets cooling towel from Ergodyne. So congratulations, Chris. I will get with you in the comments from that video, get email addresses exchanged, and I'll get that sent out to you as soon as possible. Guys, by the way, as you kind of see this video I'm throwing up here, it kind of shows how I'm choosing the winner here. I actually wait until our comments come in. I go ahead and I set the list from most recent so I can scroll all the way to the bottom, which theoretically should show me the oldest or first comment. The first time I did one of these pop giveaways, there was a discrepancy. I got an email from somebody who actually had a screenshot on their end showing that they won. So I did go ahead and send them out something too, um, just out of fairness. If it's something that keeps reoccurring, which I'm not sure if it will, uh, we'll have to figure out a different way, I guess, to pick a winner. Comment of the week, and actually it came from a message on Instagram, but I consider that all part of the AK HVAC community came from Ben Plukas who wrote, Hi, I was wondering how you ended up working on commercial units such as boilers and chillers. I'm in the HVAC field and I want to expand my way into commercial refrigeration slash boiler and chiller work. If you have any tips on how to get into such things, please let me know. So really quick, I'll go over just kind of my basic answer that I give almost everybody that's been asking that. First and foremost, there is no prerequisite to necessarily make that leap. Uh, any employer that works on that kind of equipment has to take people at some point that have never worked on it before. So just keep that in mind. There's no special school I went to that gave me the opportunity to get a chance to work with bigger equipment. Okay, I had a I, I went to community college, took an HVAC program, but it you know it was residential based. I had no uh, special skills or training that prepared me for work in that side of the industry. So it's really just a matter of applying. Now, if the question is where to apply, where to find companies that work on this. Probably the best way to guarantee getting the best training once hired and the most exclusive access to the equipment would be to actually apply directly to the OEM. So your big fours, your carrier, your train, your JCI for York, your McQuay, stuff like that. If you apply to those companies, they're hiring all over the country all the time. They do have longer processes and some of them require you to be in the union. So that's also a factor but these are the companies that are manufacturing the very machines you're asking about working on so naturally the best way to get the best training and the best access is to work for one of them now the next best thing is to work for mechanical large mechanical contractors so what i tell people to do is look for companies that have mechanical in the name it's not a hard rule but generally if you see a company that says so and so's hvac or so and so's heating and air um, they're probably not working in institutional environments or industrial environments, heavy commercial environments, etc. Usually you'll have something mechanical in the name which will indicate working on larger equipment. One way to quickly find out who those companies are in your area and is to drive to local factories, hospitals, or places of industry in the region you live. Drive around to the backs of these buildings where you see the cooling towers and the condensing units and the uh, air-cooled chillers, stuff like that, that are sitting out back or on the roof. What vans are parked out there, okay? All these types of facilities have service contracts, okay? So you're gonna have guys there every week at these facilities. Go around back, see what the names are. These are the companies you need to be driving to or calling to see if they have openings or are willing to take you on news coming up here soon in the next week <laughs> we are doing something big on this channel that I don't know that any HVAC channel has had the ability or opportunity to do for their viewers so definitely stay tuned in the next five to six days my question of the week kind of going back to that email what side of the trade do you work on do you work residential commercial light commercial testing and balancing sheet metal engineering supply chain side what do you guys do are you managing are you turning wrenches just Go ahead and share down below. What are you guys doing in the field? Share what you do down below and let's see what kind of variety we have. Unless you're a dispatcher. You don't want your kind around here. At least not this time of year. No, all jokes aside, we all know getting into 911 season, stress levels start to go through the roof at the office and dispatch level as well as the technician level. We're all working crazy hours. We're all trying to make ends meet. We're all trying to get every customer taken care of. And you know what? At the end of the day, as much as we get frustrated with the office side, 
they've got a difficult job too. That said, I've got no empathy for you if you are one of these dispatchers. Here's a little snippet from an HVAC comedy skit I did almost a year ago. Don't be this guy. I'm gonna let this video clip take it out for the week and guys stay safe. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I was just wondering how it was going out there on Pine Street right now. Yeah, how's it going out there? Yeah, I just got wrapped up over here. Um, and I'm getting ready to head down to the Chinese restaurant downtown. Look at their air conditioning. Oh, yeah, right, right. Well, about that, the Chinese restaurant, I actually just had another call come in for the convenience store on Main Street. And, um... Just wanted to know how long you thought you'd be at the Chinese restaurant, and uh, what do you think the problem is? Man, man, I've got no idea. I've got no idea. I haven't even been there yet. You guys always do this. I have no idea. I won't know until I put my eyes on the equipment. Mmm, mmm, yeah. Yeah, the equipment, right. Um, well, I mean, they said it wasn't cooling, so probably just needs refrigerant. Uh, why don't you go ahead and gas it up and um, I'd say you shouldn't be at the Chinese restaurant more than an hour tops, right? And then you can go ahead and head to the convenience store. Man, it, we're coming on 7.30 here, man. I still have another call and I, I haven't even eaten yet. I haven't had, I, I skipped lunch and doesn't look like dinner's even gonna happen. Oh, oh no, no. Hmm, hey, hold on one second. Somebody's uh, somebody's motioning to me. Let me see what they want. Oh God! Ah, <laughs> uh, so sorry about that. Um, so again, uh, about the convenience store. I mean, there's not anyone else you could send. I mean, what? What's Brad doing? Brad, well, let me, uh, let me check that out for you. Let me see here, I'm looking through my schedule and Brad is, um, well, his hamster is having open heart surgery. Right, right, okay. Uh, is, is there not any way we can put them off until tomorrow? Yeah, I would, but there's young children there, so unfortunately, it can't wait. So as you can see, you know, it's really crucial that you get over there. Huh? Convenience, the children? The, it is a convenience store, yes. Um... Oh, are you there? It's you're 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 breaking up. You're you're breaking up there, buddy. Dude, dude, don't even pull that bullshit. Sorry, man. I I, I can't hear you too good. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dispatcher's full of crap. What the hell? What the f